वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगामी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लीव द कमेंट्स एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म्स find the inverse laplace transform using convolution theorem i am going to do then what is that convolution theorem okay in the last video i have defined that what is meant by convolution and its definition and uh, how to find the uh, uh, i also stated the convolution theorem also that and verified the convolution theorem for some of few functions here let me just once again state that what is that convolution theorem here and then let me solve the examples here inverse laplace transform of f of s into g of s if a product of two signal functions is there then it's a inverse laplace transform is given by f of t asterisk g of t That S is given to be what a convolution. Okay, here f of t is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s, and g of small g of t is the inverse Laplace transform of capital G of s. And this convolution is defined to be integration from zero to t f of t minus u into g of u du. Now, using this, let me solve the example. How to find the inverse Laplace transform using convolution? Okay, my example is find the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by s into s square plus one using convolution. Here we have done the inverse Laplace transform already by using partial fractions for this type. If the denominator is product of two terms, the partial fractions can be also can be easily calculated. But here, particular they have mentioned using a convolution. Let us do it by convolution. Here, let me consider f of s into g of s equal to one divided by s into one divided by s square plus one. Okay, then my capital f of s is nothing but one divided by s and Capital G of S is nothing but one divided by S square plus one. Now, you using this capital F of S, let me find my F of T, small F of T. Therefore, F of T will become inverse Laplace transform of one by S. Okay, what is that inverse of one by S inverse Laplace transform then? Very simple. Whenever it is nothing but one. constant like that g of t inverse laplace transform of g of s that is inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus 1 okay therefore g of t equal to the thing what inverse laplace transform of 1 by s square plus 1 is nothing but sin t okay we have to remember those first seven standard forms okay therefore using this f of t and g of t and using the convolution theorem let me find out therefore inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s into s square plus 1 is equal to f of t convolution g of t that is nothing but integration from 0 to t f of t minus u into g of u du which is integration from 0 to t f of t my f of t is constant 1 there i have to replace t by t minus u but here it is only 1 is there therefore I constant as it is 1 into g of u g of t is equal to sin t therefore g of u is equal to Sin u it will become u into du. This one I have to integrate with respect to u and then upper limit minus lower limit. 
integration of sin u is minus cos u here i have to replace 0 to t okay integration of sin u is minus cos u between 0 to t upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is t therefore minus cos of u is nothing but t minus cos 0 minus of minus cos 0 which is nothing but minus cos t minus of minus plus 1 or I can write it as 1 minus cos t is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s into s square plus 1 okay very simple but integration you should know perfectly then it will become simple like this another example i am going to okay. solve here my next example is find inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s cube into s plus 1 using convolution theorem okay i will split this it into i into two terms and i will consider my capital f of s as 1 by s cube and capital g of s as 1 divided by s plus 1 therefore f of t from this is inverse laplace transform of capital f of s that is nothing but inverse laplace transform of 1 by s cube and using the property first standard first one it is t to the power 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 factorial okay therefore its inverse laplace transform is nothing but t square divided by 2 this is my f of t okay like that g of t i have to find out g of s is 1 by s plus 1 therefore g of t is nothing but inverse laplace transform of g of s which is equal to inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s plus 1. Therefore, g of t is equal to e to the power minus t. Correct? It is nothing but e to the power minus t. Using this f of t, g of t, let me evaluate the convolution for this one. Okay. Next, f of t is equal to t square divided by 2 and g of t is equal to e to the power minus t i have therefore inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square into s plus 1 is nothing but f of t convolution g of t that is defined by integration from 0 to t f of t into sorry f of u into g of t minus u du also i can use or f of t minus u into g of u also i can use i am interchanging because of uh, i can take e to the power if it is a t square is there then i have to expand that and then i have to integrate that's why i can replace which is equal to integration from 0 to t f of u that's why you can replace it by u square divided by 2 into g of t minus u wherever t is there t is replaced by t minus u e to the power minus of t minus u into du and here i am integrating with respect to u that's why i will split it into two terms and e to the power minus t i can take outside i will take e to the power minus t as a constant outside e to the power minus t integration from 0 to t and divided by 2 also i will take from this one u square into e to the power u du it will remain clear e to the power minus of minus plus u will remain then i can integrate this one as e to the power minus t divided by 2 into u square into e to the power u okay chain rule i will use chain rule for integration that is u square into integration of e to the power u is e to the power u minus differentiation of u square is 2u integration of this is again 
e to the power u as it is and differentiation of minus 2 u is plus 2 integration of this is e to the power u as it is and next differentiation of this will become 0 therefore stop here between the limits 0 to t okay therefore evaluating this one i am going to get it as e to the power minus t divided by 2 and upper limit is t replacing t here that i am going to get t square into e to the power t minus 2t into e to the power t plus 2 into e to the power t okay this is for upper limit minus lower limit t equal to sorry u equal to 0 first term becomes 0 minus second term also 0 plus 2 into e to the power 0 but e to the power 0 is 1 therefore simplifying this the final answer what I am going to get is this e to the power t I can multiply inside 1 by 2 into t square into e to the power minus t e to the power plus t is 1 minus 2t e to the power minus t into e to the power t again 1 plus 2 into e to the power okay then minus okay minus 2 e to the power 0 is 1 into e to the power minus t into e to the power minus t this is the required final answer for this okay like this some more examples i'm doing in my next videos please subscribe my channel give the comments and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification for my next videos thank you friends